Hey, what's up, everybody? It's that guy, Skimpy. Hey, my good buddy, the Bass Slapper, wanted me to go ahead and put some of his uh, videos on my channel to show everybody about the uh, the Mega Bass Dark Sleeper. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. These videos were originally made to be on our group YouTube channel called the Legion of Bass, which is still kind of going, but you know, slowly and surely. But um, he wanted me to go ahead and put them on my channel. So yeah, so here they are, the Bass Slapper, Mega Bass, Dark Sleeper. Hey guys, how's it going? This is Bass Slapper. I'm here with the family today. We're gonna do a little filming for LOB, Legion of Bass family. I'm gonna try and do a little how-to sleeper footage here on the dark sleeper, mega bass dark sleeper. I've had a lot of guys asking me, how do you fish it? You know, what? how do you use it? All that jazz. So we're gonna go out and we're gonna show you guys how we do it out here to catch those largies. Maybe get on some smallies out here. This is Clear Lake, Washington. Beautiful Clear Lake, Washington. They got largies, smallies, docks, you name it. So we're gonna get out here and see what we can do. Maybe get some underwater footage of how the sleeper works to show you guys really how to get on them with this, with this bait here. All right. All right, you guys, so what I have here, whoop, what I have here is the 3.8 inch, three quarter ounce. I believe this is the, the Donko or the Donko Haze, whatever. I don't remember the colors, but this is definitely my favorite color here. Uh, the three quarter ounce is definitely my favorite weight uh, for the lakes we have up here. You could fish drop offs really easy. You could skip it really easy. Uh, you name it. I mean, you can pretty much do everything you have to do with this weight right here very, very easily. It's not too heavy to where you're dragging a lot of weeds, catching stumps. A lot of people up here, I swear they like to put stumps in front and docks. But hey, you got to do what you got to do. So anyway, we're going to skip a couple docks, fish a couple drop-offs, see what we can do, see if I can get some footage of, of these things working, doing their magic here. This lake is super clear, so it's real easy for them to see that and get on them pretty quick. What you will have to pay attention to quite a bit, now every once in a while they'll grab those weeds on the bottom, is these uh, these fins it's got on the top here, these dorsal fins. Really be careful. Make sure every time before you re-throw it that your hook's not going into it because that'll definitely hinder your hook up when you get into that big fish and you'll have a sad day for sure. I'm not pulling out a bird's nest. I'm just pulling out line to make sure that it drops straight down. You want it up under that dock as much as possible. And what I'm doing basically is I'm trying to skip it up under there as far as I can. I'm letting it sink down all the way until I see that line stop moving. And I'm just slow rolling it. That's all I'm doing. Slow rolling it nice and easy across the bottom. If I don't feel the bottom of the lake hitting my bait, I know I'm, I'm not fishing it slow enough. And that's really all you need to do. 
Oh, just dragging some weeds. Nine times out of 10, these fish are gonna hit this guy on the fall. That's one of their favorite things to do with this bait for some reason, but yesterday my, my wife and I went out and they were actually hitting it on the retrieve pretty aggressively, which surprised the hell out of me, especially for how hot it was. I think water temps were at about 75, but uh, they were pretty active for that evening bite yesterday. Oh, nothing out here. This dock's sitting at about 17 feet deep here at the end of it. So we'll see if we can move in and see if we can get on them over here on the other side. All right, we'll skip up under here. See what happens. So like I was saying, no matter how shallow, no matter how deep, no matter what the situation is, I am fishing this bait slow as possible, almost like you're fishing a HUD or a glide bait or anything like that. But I don't know, it's hard to explain. Kind of like, you know, you kind of fish it like a jig, kind of fish it like a swim bait. There's so many different ways to throw these things. It's all personal preference, but my personal favorite way to do it is to just slow roll this guy on the bottom. And see, there we have a baby bass chasing it right now. He just hit it. Little guy. I just get him up there as deep as I can. Try to coax those guys out from underneath the dock. And I, you know, I, I personally, I focus on docks a lot. Uh, that seems to be where I catch a lot of my fish. I'm definitely a big dock guy, but these things, they catch fish all over the lake. You know, I've taken buddies out and we'll catch them just on regular drop-offs out in the middle of nowhere, super deep at about 30, 40 feet even. It just depends. It depends on where they're at. Pretty much wherever they're at, this thing is going to is gonna coax them into biting for sure. One of the most versatile baits I've thrown. It's definitely my been my go-to for the, the whole 2019 year for sure. Doesn't seem to matter what the weather is, what the situations are on the lake. It produces regardless. Just a good all-around all around bait. <laughs> There's a bunch of baby bass feeding on bugs right here. <laughs> so right now we are sitting pretty shallow it's about 3.5 you know so it's about three and a half feet here and we're in about the end of july right now Oop. so it's kind of hard end of july it's early morning right now it's only like 52 degrees out here water temp's sitting at 70 but i've seen a lot of cruisers up shallow this morning Usually this time of year, I'm fishing deeper docks or, you know, drop-offs. The normal thing that people do when it's hot out. Let's see if we can get... Here we have an isolated dock right here. Last time I was out here, that was the ticket.
something there. Sometimes when I throw these things, I just let them sit for quite a bit. That seems to be a pretty good method as well. Just kind of dead sticking the, the dark sleeper. A lot of times if I do bird's nest, you know, pretty bad or, or whatever, I end up catching a fish just because it's sitting there pretty still. And for some reason that seems to, to get them to want to bite it pretty hard. So... The conditions we're fishing in right around here, it's, it's pretty weedy right here in this part of the lake. I'm still fishing it the same way. This thing, this kind of weeds that I'm dealing with right here, it, it really doesn't dig in there and, and give me too much grief. It kind of just bounces along the top of them, even when I'm just slow rolling it on the bottom there. Whenever I feel a tug, I know it's not a fish, I'm just dragging weeds. I kind of just, just like you would any other bait, just kind of smack it through the water, almost like I'm jerking a jerk bait, and that seems to get them off no problem. Throw it up in those two leaves a little bit. So I know I was saying before to you guys that I'm fishing the, the 3.8 inch, you know, three quarter ounce sleeper here but one of my uh, in fact my favorite now this this was my favorite this this bigger version of the swim bait but my favorite size now is the the three inch three quarter weighted dark sleeper in all the colors and it's just that little presentation they seem to be able to suck it down a lot easier they get it a little deeper your hookup is almost perfect every time with these these bigger ones i know it's only it's not even a full inch bigger, but it seems to have a lot more girth to it. It's quite a bit longer. They don't snatch it down quite as easy. So a lot of the times you end up hooking them just on the outside of their lip. Because um, they're not choking it down like, like they do the smaller ones. <clears throat> Alright guys, so I just tied on the, uh, the 3 inch, 3 quarter ounce sleeper. Same color. Little brand new one, got some red eyes on there for you. Super cool looking sleeper. Hookup is quite a bit better on this one. We'll see if we can get something to bite. It's been kind of a kind of a rough morning. This one sits on top of the weeds just a little bit better. I don't know how that happens because it is the same weight. Or at least it's the same jig weight, but I think Possibly because of there being so much less plastic on there. It's quite a bit lighter than the 3.8. There we go. Just a little fella. The smallest fish you could possibly hope for, but hey, he hit it on the retrieve out in the middle in between the docks. Little cruiser. I saw him come out of nowhere and just kind of slam it. Not much of a fish to really prove to you guys that these things work. But I promise you, on average, this thing is catching three plus pounds all the time. I mean, that's usually what what I'm catching them on. <laughs> or what I'm catching, I should say, is those three plus pounders. But at least there's something for the video to prove to you guys that the fish do bite these. You know, I'm not just trying to pull your chain or I don't really like to do videos of baits that that don't work that's for sure